welcome to your virtual field trip at the Can Sealing Waterloo Region Museum. Come on inside the dry goods and grocery store. We're going to step in the door. You've just come into the store and asked for service. Well, here in the dry goods and grocery store, hopefully I would be able to provide everything that you needed in 1914. I have got dry goods, which means household items like boots and shoes and hats and some basic clothing items. I've got housewares and pharmacy items and hardware items as well, plus anything you might need for your farm and a few specialty items as well. And then I have groceries, all sorts of groceries like cereal and crackers and flour and sugar and spices and all kinds of canned goods as well. So when you came in, you'd tell me what you wanted and I would go and get it. It's very service oriented. I'd write up your bill and then when you paid me, I'd enter the total amount into the cash register. There were other ways you could pay as well. You could uh, buy on credit or in trade as well. But it wasn't just about coming to the store and getting the things that you needed. The store is a really important part of the village. It's kind of, well, you could say gossip central or news central because everyone has to come in here. So you would catch up on who's getting married, who's had a baby, how the crops are doing, as well as political news. So sometimes people would come here to find out maybe how they should plan their campaign if they were going to try to uh, be elected for some sort of level of government. And it's also a place to socialize, catch up with your neighbors. In 1914, stores like this are facing some challenges. There are competitors right within the village. Plus, people can travel further away and be able to go to big city, to department stores or specialty stores. And they can also order from mail order catalogs like this. Eaton's, Simpson's, and other specialty catalogs were available that sold things that I could never stock in my store. And sometimes at prices that I couldn't compete with. So I invite you to create a list of at least 10 items that you would need to set up a household. And then you're going to go and look at the Eaton's catalog. Now that might sound tricky, but what you're going to do is go to a website called archive.org. You'll type into the search Eaton's Catalog 1913 and when it comes up then you could actually start leafing through it and you could also search for the particular items that you have on your list. What you need to do is write down the price. For instance, a table that costs eight dollars and fifteen cents. See how closely it matches your estimate of the costs that you would expect. Have fun. Thanks for watching.